in Millennials and Money, we have a millennial money expert with us today, Tanya Rapley. She joins us now to talk about holiday budgeting. Good to see you. And you took a survey. What did you find? Yeah, so holiday shopping is going to look a little different this year as this year as a whole has looked a little different. And so one of the things that the recent study completed by our firm found is that 73% of people are planning to scrap those holiday travel plans. So while most people were traveling in previous years, during the holiday season, they're staying put but that they're still buying gifts. And so while they might not be traveling to a relative's house, they're still buying gifts for those relatives or those people or those individuals in their household. So they're kind of moving money around in their budget um, and kind of freeing up some money to make purchases by uh, staying at home and not, not bringing on those um, holiday travel bills. But then also seven out of 10 are not waiting until the traditional Black Friday sale period. And so if it's on sale right now, they're buying it right now. They're not waiting until those sales. And retailers are actually following suit because retailers have started sales earlier. They're eliminating the Black Friday period that we've seen before and have begun offering deals as early as October. So not only are millennials doing things differently this year, retailers are as well. What about paying off those holiday bills? Mm -hmm. That holiday hangover, right? That most people experience in January. So there's a few things that you can do, you know, just really minding your budget. And it's important to avoid those spending traps. But, you know, buy now, pay later solutions have increased in popularity. And one of the solutions I recommend or the solution that I recommend actually is a firm because it gives people the flexibility and transparency. And you're able to buy those things that you want now and pay for it over time. And they have really flexible repayment terms, whether it's, you know, paying every week for four weeks or paying every three, paying it off over three, six, 12 months and so forth. So it's really flexible for anyone's budget so that you're not necessarily taking on that um, that risky, expensive debt that you would with a credit card, which can be high interest. This is a great alternative. There, you, The price you get at checkout is the price that you're going to pay. There's no hidden fees. There's no late fees. And it's just really transparent. So I love that. And it's available at over 6,000 retailers. Some of my favorite retailers are available or use a firm. And so it's just a really good payment option for people. And then also, if you're just thinking about what are different ways that I can really pare back my expenses when it comes to holiday gifts, it's, you know, buying, you know, those DIY gift baskets or creating a DIY gift basket, I should say. So I created a gift basket of things that I would like. I'm going to leave it around the house. Um, for my family to see what I enjoy. But, you know, creating a gift basket, which is little knickknacks here and there, they don't have to be expensive, but you put them all together and it makes a big impact because it's a thoughtful gift. Where can people go to learn more? Absolutely. So to learn more about Affirm and there's 6,000 retailers, you can go to affirm.com. Um, and then for more budgeting tips, you can go to my website, myfabfinance.com. Thank you so much, Tanya. We hope to have you back. Thank you for having me. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.